The way win at Tranmere, which keeps them in Division 2. Mark Kiff was there. They came, they saw, eventually they conquered. Oxford United's fans, more than 1,500 of them, made the long journey to Tranmere on Saturday to support their team. What an afternoon of drama, tension and excitement they had. The United team, led by manager Brian Horton, unsurprisingly looked tense. This was the match they really had to win to stand a chance of staying up. But if the players were hiding their confidence, the fans certainly weren't. I'm confident that we'll win today and the results will go for us. Plymouth have got a tough one against Blackburn. I think that Blackburn will do us a favour, we'll win today and nip above them and they'll get out. Easy. Very good. Yeah. 3-0. And they're going to stay up? Yes, yeah. definitely. When the Oxford players ran onto the pitch, they must have felt like they were back at the manor. So warm was the welcome. The match couldn't have been more of a thriller if it had been written in Hollywood. United came out all guns blazing. Joey Beecham had enough chances to wrap the game up in the first half. But each time he couldn't find a way past Eric Nixon in the Tranmere goal. You could almost read Horton's thoughts as the opportunity slipped by. And Oxford looked vulnerable on the break. Fortunately, Paul Key was in superb form. Beecham had more opportunities, and as half-time approached, the score was still nil-nil. But United battled on, and a bad back pass in the 58th minute provided the breakthrough, John Durning taking full advantage. It was the only time Oxford fans let themselves down, but order was soon restored. Then things began to go wrong. Oxford old boy John Aldridge was looking for his 40th goal of the season. It came just two minutes after Durnin's and gave Aldridge the club record he was looking for. United were within 30 minutes of possible relegation, then Joey Beecher made up for all his earlier misses. 2-1 with 25 minutes left, Tranmere came storming back. Paul Key pulled off another brilliant save and United hung on for victory. The final whistle brought an anxious time for United's players while they waited for their rivals' results. When they heard Plymouth had lost to Blackburn, the celebrations began. Stay it up. We, we, stay it up. We are... Back in the changing rooms, the only drink to toast their success at first for financially pressed Oxford was tea. Brian Horton was overcome. Words can't describe it, can it? I mean, it's like you've won the FA Cup. You know, you have your highs and lows. Um, this is as much of a, a, a high that you can have sometimes, and it's a relegation battle. It was the most important goal that I've scored. Obviously, it was a bit disappointed when they equalised, but then Joby went and scored the winner. Tremendous. I've missed uh, four in the first half, probably easier than that, and uh, Mickey Lewis gave me a great ball. And it was probably the hardest chance. I just got a foot to it, and I uh, went for the keeper's legs. Unbelievable. By the end, the champagne was flowing. All United need now is a new owner willing to keep them in the style to which they'd like to become accustomed. <laughs>